Welcome back YouTube, my name's Trish Trigneal, Trish for those that know me and Mr. Trish Bits if you follow me on here. Um, I'm also on Instagram if you want to check out any of my other pictures, Mr. Trish Bits, still there is that. Today I'm making a mount for my proximity sensor. Um, I need to mount it on for my x-axis so when the, my, this, the column comes over, it can trigger and it tells my machine where the home position is. I can then use that for setting other coordinates for a vice location or if I've got a fixture set up um, under the code of G54, G55, G56 and it means I can have lots of setups, find them quickly um, based on having a home position to begin with so it knows where to start with the pre-save locations, it can go there and I'll be happy. Also, if I want to fit a tool changing uh, mechanism on here, it will know where to find that every time. Even if it's all been turned off, there's been a power cut, it can all be found because I have save locations on the machine. Um, I'll have a homing switch, which then it will find that for the X, it will find one for the Y and find one for the Z or the Z. And once you've done that, you can find these positions. Um, you can watch for the rest of the video how I made the mount um, and we'll go from there. My friend Ian Buck came around the other day, he was very helpful and uh, connected up all my um, limit switches and my proximity sensors. Apart from this one, this one I didn't have at the time, so we have two on, he needs to fit the third one and um, I'm looking forward to being able to have preset locations and some tool changing capability. So enjoy the video and see you soon. So it's a simple part, as you can see, it's two millimeter thick, it's 6082 um, aluminium, um, and it has a sensor hole there. I have two screw holes to hold it in place. The 0.6 overlap and a full depth cut with the single flute cutter of any tool sent me to try out. Um, I've sent them some information to let them know how it went on. Um, very kind of them to give me a tool to try. So I might as well tell you guys that's what I was using as well. Um, it's only meant for aluminium and plastics, and yet, when doing this job it worked out really nicely i did a second pass as i went on the outside just to clean everything up then there's the cnc spot drill to come along and clean up and finish tape it down with my painter's tape 3m scotch um it seems to work really really well um i do it on both sides i put super glue on I stick it together, I let it dry, and it generally works out really, really well. And this gets really, really wet, and then parts come off. So generally, if it's over a reasonably large area, it holds on really nicely. So I just use some super glue. I just cover the main area. It squidges out and finds itself when I put it down. I give it a little push with my hands. That's it. A bit of pressure there, and it's all good. The tools that I'm using is this 90 degree CNC um, spot drill, which will do my engraving and my chamfering. And then I have my single flute cutter from Rennie Tool. Both these tools are from Rennie Tool. The single flute was sent to me. It's normally meant for wood and plastics and stuff like that, but I'm gonna be using it on aluminium today. Um, so we'll see how well it fares. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing how it works.
as you can imagine at this point, I wasn't impressed with myself. It's 6082, I should have heated it up to let it bend. Instead, like a fool, I thought, ah, I'll bend this. Doesn't seem too hard and difficult. No, <laughs> it was. It broke. So what do I do now? Do I make a new one, heat it up, bend it? Do I drill holes in it and make little brackets hold it together? Do I redesign it so bits screw into each other? I'm thinking, no, let's go get a bit of a aluminium molding rod and let's just braise this bad boy up. Okay, okay, I know. I should be wearing gloves, so any responsible person out there, you put gloves on when you do this. Also, when you see me cock up in a second, you'll see that it looks like I'm using my fingers to touch this. I'm not. I have something in my hands, can't remember what it was now, but that did the work for me. So uh, please forgive me for my lack of safety on this one, but it is in a well-ventilated area, so at least that's something, right? I forgot to mention, I've never done this before, and I expected it to go a lot easier. Um, but with practice becomes perfection. In this case, no perfection, but there was some practice. I do this a bit more and uh, find out uh, how much better I can get at it. So this was meant to be a quick, simple job, and it was. I'll probably make it again sometime and it'll look a lot better. But thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it, and maybe you try doing it yourself as well. See you later. Bye.